If you are new to 3D and you want to learn something that is going to be easy for you, I would probably recommend you learn architectural visualization. This is the case because, for example, it can be a good way to learn about fundamentals of 3D modeling and other aspects of the production pipeline. I'm talking about basic skills and techniques that you will also have to learn for other complicated fields such as animation, game development, and VFX. So what I think is, the field of architectural visualization has kind of a lower entry barrier. This is of course compared to other fields I just mentioned. Of course, this does not mean that other fields are superior to this one. It just means it is probably more convenient to start with ArcViz as a start. While we are in the subject of ArcViz and interior design, let me talk about Cohome, our sponsor for today's video. It is a fantastic tool with a ton of free features, especially for interior designers, architects, house owners, and even real estate agents to easily bring their designs and ideas to life using templates and tools that Cohome provides. This tool helps you create floor plans, 3D decorations, and it gives you the ability to render your projects and create fantastic photos in just few minutes. This is the case due to its versatility and the huge list of assets that can help you create any project with ease. And although Cohome has a desktop app, it is cloud-based, so you will have all you need to start creating your designs in your browser. And I can't emphasize how easy it is to work with this software. It offers different subscription plans. The basic license is free with floor planner, unlimited standard quality settings, 30,000 plus free 3D models, email support, video training library, and photorealistic rendering such as the ones you see on the screen. Cohome has an intuitive interface. It allows you to easily switch between front, top, and panorama view, also precisely place doors, windows, furniture, and render your projects in up to 4K resolution. Another great feature is the 720 Tour, which allows you to showcase your design with immersive experiences and high realism in real time. If you want to learn more about Cohome and you want to try it for free, you can follow the link in the description below. Following simple courses or just YouTube tutorials, you will quickly learn about modeling, shading, texturing, simple animations, cameras, lighting, and rendering in addition to compositing. And you will do this in a way that is not highly demanding or complicated, because you will be just dealing with creating simple things. When it comes to modeling, you will be creating things such as furniture, vegetation, houses, buildings, and such. This field for beginners it doesn't need things like UV unwrapping, which is a little bit of a complicated concept to learn as a beginner, so we are removing that from the equation, which will make it easier for you to model everything without worrying about that in addition to topology. When it comes to the texturing process, it is gonna be very easy as a beginner. You just need to drag and drop textures and materials on furniture and walls with minor adjustments and you'll be easily creating something that looks great without knowing a lot about the subject. Furthermore, you will need specialized software to do this, as opposed to working on game development and VFX projects, where you will definitely need good software. These software are needed to create extremely good looking models with high resolution textures and a ton of details and complexity. And we're talking about software such as Mari or Substance Painter. But in the ArcViz case, you will just need Blender, Max, Cinema 4D, or Maya to texture your 3D assets, and you will be ready to go to the next steps. Also in this field, you will be introduced to working with cameras, which is a very important aspect of the 3D world. You will learn about different types of cameras and how to set them in the environments or the scenes you are creating. You will learn about different aspects of using cameras, such as focal length, shutter speed, aperture, and stuff, in addition to how this will affect the final results. In ArcViz, you will also learn about other important things, such as lighting. You'll be introduced to GI, which is global illumination, different light sources, such as sunlight, IAS lights, high dynamic range images, and stuff. These things are extremely important in all fields, and as things get more complicated, you will need, of course, to learn more. But in ArcViz, you will be introduced to this in a very simple way, and this will give you confidence in your ability to work on your projects. Rendering is the next step that you will go through after setting up cameras and lighting, which is the process of kind of creating final shots or final renders, and you will do this to show all the things you have created and done when working on a particular project. To be honest, this has become very easy lately. If you know how to set up basic render engines and play around with just simple settings and parameters, you will be able to create great results. Also, render engines right now have presets, which can help you make it very easy for you. So in just a couple of months or so, you will be able to create something quite beautiful as a beginner, 
And the most important thing is, you'll be going through the whole production pipeline and knowing a lot about the field, which will boost your confidence as a beginner to go to other fields as well. Other perks of learning this field are, for example, the fact that it is in high demand. So you will probably be able to get some gigs or maybe do some freelance work with just one year or so of learning. Also, it is extremely popular, so you will find a ton of resources and learning materials that you will need to practice. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.